Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss about Azure Cosmos Database Geo Replication. So we have a feature that is replicate data globally in Azure portal. And with this, we have our data that is Azure Cosmos Database replicated across multiple regions. And with this, we get high availability and low latency. And it acts as our disaster recovery mechanism in case our primary region fails and finally it's available on a simple mouse click then we will also discuss manual failover and automatic failover then we'll discuss about multi-region write and challenges in it and then as a part of geo replication we need to manage consistency levels as well as guys with geo replication our data is replicated across multiple regions so we need to ensure that the data is consistent and consistency levels we will discuss in our next video now we are in azure portal and let's open this azure cosmos db account which we created in our earlier video and now we are under overview tab and if you see guys we have this read location and write location and for both we have this west us3 so that means West US3 is our primary region and we are writing data to this region and we are reading this data from this region only. As of now, we do not have any secondary region. And now let's go to this replicate data globally and it's there under settings. So let's click on this. And here you can see these plus icons and these icons are nothing but our secondary region. So I have to simply select one of these region and then I have to simply click on save and that's it. And that selected region will become our secondary region. And now I will select one of the regions as secondary region. So for example, I can click on this region that is South India. And where does the name of secondary region is displayed? See guys, it's displayed at the bottom of the screen. So please follow my mouse here, uh, the position of the mouse here. The secondary region name will get displayed so for example if i take my mouse to this region see it's south india so i have to simply click on that and then i i will simply click on this save that's it but as of now this save button is disabled because my cosmos db account is a free account okay but in your case say for example you are working in your qa or production environment you can select this as a secondary region and you have to just click on save and that's it now guys when we have selected this secondary region then we have an option that we can make this secondary region as just a read region or we can make this secondary region as read and write region both so it's up to us and if i have made secondary region as both read and write region say example in this case it's south india so so in that case we will have two regions that is this east us east us3 and this south india and both will be acting as read and write regions now let's discuss about this manual failover and automatic failover now again we have selected this south india as our secondary region so if we have selected option that is manual failover that means in case if our primary region if it goes down then this secondary region will not act as a primary region by default so we have to go to the portal and we have to explicitly select this secondary region as a primary region that means it's a manual fail over process now on the other hand if we have selected option that is automatic fail over or this service managed fail over so in that case if our primary region that is west us3 if it goes down then this secondary region that is south india it will automatically act as our primary region now guys this geo replication feature is useful but then it's not straightforward and let's try to understand it with an example so imagine we have our azure cosmos database for which primary region is east us3 that is it's our read and write region and secondary region is south india that is it's just a read region and imagine the current record is it says name Herschel and city is equal to Mumbai and if I have updated the record in database as name Herschel Jain 
and city is equal to mumbai so that means data will be immediately updated in east us3 because it's our read and write region right but chances are there that after the record is updated if some user reads the data from secondary region then he may still see the old data and that's why we have different consistency levels when we are working with geo replication and finally let's discuss about multi region write and as we can guess in this case our secondary region it will act as both read and write region but here we need to ensure that the data remains consist consistent across all replicas since conflicts may occur when the same item is updated in different regions and for that it's difficult to implement as we need to manage these conflicts